Hey everybody, Raven here, and in today's video, I want to share with you one of the coolest finds that I've had in quite a long time. Matter of fact, we have three eight reals and two un pesos that are just unbelievable from Mexico, all five coins. The oldest coin being from 1806 and the youngest coin being from 1904. The amount of history that's in these coins is just unbelievable. And I feel very fortunate to have gotten my hands on these. And we're going to start it off with the first one. And this is from 1806. This is 8 reals. And where you see right here it says chop marks. Is a really cool interesting thing. Right here you see these markings in the coins. What would happen is that when they did trade from country to country. And Mexico did a lot of trade with China back in the day. And they would actually test the silver out and put a little stamp of approval basically for these coins to be used for trade in China because of their silver content. And this is a really awesome piece of history to have in one's hand. You're looking at a coin that is, you know, 214 years or so old. Um, or actually, no, more than that. Yeah, no, I think... 214. I, I don't know why I'm messing up my math, but where is that? Yeah. <laughs> Either way, this is a really, really cool coin. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of character and it has one little rim ding where somebody probably dropped it way, way long ago on the concrete. And uh, but the dark patina on this is just beautiful. And if this could tell stories of what it's seen in its 200 plus year life, it's just unreal. And like I said, I feel very fortunate to have got my hands on these coins because you don't see them very often in the local coin shops. Um, sometimes you can get really lucky and come across a dealer that doesn't really specialize in foreign coinage. They just uh, sell it for the silver price, um, which I've actually gotten some really nice Mexican coins uh, for silver back in the day here not not too long ago but these ones came from a collection and i bought them all at once so i paid a little bit more but it was definitely worth getting them uh, this is an 1813 jj is for guanajuato mexico and again this is an eight reals very very pretty coin uh, this one looks like it has a little rotation to the die but it's just really really nice um, matter of fact, I think my absolute favorite one of this group is the one with the chop marks just because of the history that's involved with that and the way that it was, you know, authenticated so long ago. And the chop marks are actually considered uh, desirable because a person knows right away that, hey, this is an authentic coin. It's been, you know, approved 200 plus years ago, which is just pretty neat in itself. Um this next example is from 1820 again Guanajuato this one is a really nice dark coin with a lot of patina and history to it I really like these darker coins because you know they haven't been cleaned or if they had been cleaned at some point it was you know ages ago um, but that normally doesn't happen for a coin to look like this I'm very very happy with this one the next one coming up is a un peso from 1904 and you can see it has the cap and raise design with the word libertad for liberty in the cap and the raise is like a burst of sunshine behind it and when you get to this year of coin it flips up and down versus the eight reals turned side to side uh, this one has a lot of beautiful detail a very very nice coin uh, to own and then we have the 1900 un peso same thing beautiful coin different year but really really cool these both were minted in mexico mexico city and this one has some cuds on it right there coming over the coin right there that i didn't catch until just now in this video which goes to show you i don't catch every last thing until I really look under it under a scope or some magnification but I'm surprised I didn't see this and the person that I got it from didn't catch it either so that's a cool little addition to the coin there 
And, you know, like I said earlier, if you see these in your coin shop or you get an opportunity, you're at the swap meet or maybe even a, a pawn shop or, or a yard sale, grab them because they are worth, some examples are worth quite a bit and this is a really cool lot. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.